Hey, magandang buhay. So ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang i-discuss uh, paano i-simplify yung isang rational algebraic expressions. Ready ka na? Great. So, sa simplifying rational expressions, it's very important na kailangan master mo yung factoring techniques, yung different factoring techniques. Ano itong mga to? Common monomial factor, difference of two squares, summing difference of two cubes, perfect square trinomial, at saka yung factoring general trinomial. Kasi kapag ka hindi natin master yung mga yon, may hihirapan tayo sa topic na to. So in that case, pwede mong balikan yung mga videos na ginawa ko na naka-upload na. Pwede mong balikan yon, aralin mo ulit bago mo puntahan itong topic na ito. Okay? So I prepared six examples. Example number one. We have negative 9x raised to 4 yz cubed over 12xy squared z. Monomial to monomial lang tayo dito. So, ang gagawin lang natin is simplify lang yan para lang tayo nagsisimplify ng um, fraction. Uh, basic fraction na naman. The lowest term lang tayo doon. No? So, para makita nyo lang, i-expand ko lang siya kagaya ng nakikita nyo sa ating screen. So, saan nang galing yung 3? Yung 3 times 3, that is 9. Yung 4 na x dito, that is x raised to 4. Yung isang y, syempre, y raised to 1 lang yan. Yung tatlong z, that is z cube. Same thing doon sa denominator natin. Kapag ka nagsisimplify tayo ng rational expressions, tinitignan lang natin kapag, na, kapag ka may nagkaparehas sa numerator and denominator, cancel na yon. That is equivalent to 1. So, yun now, uh, first example, pwede na natin i-cancel yung 3, yung x, yung y, saka yung z. Again, hindi lagi-lagi ng xyz kaya cancel-cancel. Hindi. Tinitignan natin kapag ka may nagkaparehas sa numerator and denominator. And then, yung natira, that will be our final answer. In our case, so negative. So, yung numerator natin, may natirang 3, may natirang tatlong x, at may natirang dalawang z. So, that would be 3x cubed z squared. Sa baba, 4 at saka y na lang yung natira, so that will be 4y. Proceed tayo sa second example. We have 2a squared plus 6a all over 2a minus 6. Binomial yung numerator, binomial yung denominator. Very obvious na magko-common monomial factoring tayo dito. So, yung numerator natin magiging 2a times the quantity of a plus 3. And then, yung denominator natin, that would be 2 times the quantity of a minus 3. Ang pwede lang i-cancel dyan yung 2. Hindi pwede i-cancel yung a. Ito ha, hindi siya. Kasi, hindi na ba, um, ang factors natin dito is yung 2, a, at saka a plus 3. Dito naman, 2 at saka a minus 3. Wala tayong factors na A and A. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-cancel itong dalawang A dito. Clear tayo? Ang mga pwede, pwede lang i-cancel yung mga factors lang. Yung mga by term lang. Okay? So, in this case, so, maka-cancel na yung 2. Ang ating final answer na will be A times the quantity of A plus 3 over A minus 3. Third example tayo. We have 3 times the quantity of B minus 1 plus 6 all over 7 times the quantity of B minus 1 plus 14. Hindi pwedeng i-cancel yung B minus 1 dyan. Bakit? Again, hindi siya factors eh. Yung numerator natin, parang dalawang numbers na pinag-a-add. Same thing dito. Kapag ka sinabi natin factors, dalawang numbers na pinag-multiply. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin dito is, i-distribute natin yung 3 dun sa numerator. So, 3B, 3B minus 3. Tapos dito naman, this will be 7B minus 7. So, ayan. So, nakikita nyo sa screen natin. Simplify natin, this one will become positive 3 and this one will become positive 7. Common monomial factoring tayo dito sa taas, that will be tama ka, 3 times the quantity of B plus 1 and sa baba, okay, tama ka na naman. That is 7 times the quantity of B plus 1. In this case, yung factor sa taas, 3 saka B plus 1, yung factors sa baba, 7 at saka B plus 1. So, pwede na natin i-cancel yung B plus 1 dyan. So, our final answer now will be 3 over 7. For example tayo, so we have x squared plus x minus 6 all over x squared minus 4x plus 4. We're dealing with trinomials here. So, basically, um, yung sa taas, most likely, general trinomial yan. Yung sa baba naman, tama ka. PST or perfect squared trinomial. So, kapag pinactor natin yung numerator and denominators natin, we will have the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 3 over the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 2. Cancel lang yung parehas dito. 
Tama ka, x minus 3 maka-cancel. So, our final answer now will be correct. x plus 3 all over x minus 2. Second to the last example or yung fifth example natin. So, we have x squared minus 16 all over x squared plus x minus 20. So, yung sa taas, tama ka. Difference of two squares. E yung sa denominator natin. Okay, you are correct. So, mag uh, general trinomial tayo dyan. So, kapag ka-finactor natin yung sa taas, tama ka. X plus 4 at saka X minus 4. E yung sa baba, ang galing ha, that is X plus 5 and X minus 4. So, you are correct. Maka-cancel na dyan yung X minus 4. And our final answer na will be, correct, X plus 4 all over X plus 5. Down to our last example, we have P cubed plus 1 all over P squared plus 5P plus 4. Napansin mo agad, yung sa taas is, tama ka, sum of 2 cubes. Eh, yung sa baba. Tama, uh, magaling yung at least natatandaan mo. Factoring general trinomials. So, yung sa taas, ano yung magiging factored form ng P cubed plus 1? Tama ka, that is the quantity of P plus 1 times the quantity of P squared minus P plus 1. How about our denominator? What will be the factored form of P squared plus 5P plus 4? You are correct. That is P plus 4 times P plus 1. Tama. Makakansel na dyan yung P plus 1. So our final answer now will be P squared minus P plus 1 all over P plus 4. So again, napakadali ng uh, simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Basta master mo yung factoring. Okay? So, sana may natutunan ka sa video na to. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig and yes, magandang buhay.